I want to write a C program to show English alphabets by using while loop. So guys, uh, if you observe here, uh, so let me have a new program. So in this new program, uh, okay, okay, I've made four mistakes. So I need to use control A, control C and I need to paste here, control A, control V. So guys, keep in mind, uh, what I want to do, I want to show English alphabets. So I can, uh, generally people used to do printf, then double quote, then I can write A, then I can write B, I can write C. No, I don't want to write in this fashion. I don't want to write in this fashion. Okay, printf A, then printf, uh, printf A, print up b i don't want to write in this fashion what i want to do i want to show a b c d up to z a b c d up to z by using while loop by using while loop so how can i able to write so you can take a, you can take a variable called character of type i took character of type variable called c or you can call alpha let me use the name called alpha to avoid confusion okay print f while now i took a character i took a character called alpha so here while loop i'm using while loop so how can i able to write the code so while so let me start alpha from a from where you want to start showing i want to start from a i want to start from displaying from a okay fine so it's it's not double code you have to use single code because it's a character now up to where you want to show up to i want to show a b c d e f up to z right so my alpha my alpha must be less than or equal to my alpha must be less than or equal to i can use here z right i want to start this is my starting position this is my starting position a is my starting position right a is my starting position and up to where you want to go i want to go up to up to alpha until and also until also alpha won't reach what alpha contains a until unless this alpha won't reach to x y and z and i don't want to stop once it reaches to z complete the z then stop okay then how can i able to complete this so you can increment this alpha by one by one so you can use pre-increment so plus plus alpha so the question might have raised in your mind sir how can you increase a l p h a how can i increase alphabets uh, a b c d one by one actually there, there there might be questions you should have the knowledge of ascii values ascii sets there are totally 255 actually 256 character sets are available in ascii ascii is a set of characters which has specific number and a specific symbol so also for ascii also we have the numbers and we have the we have the symbols so a also points to the number a also points to the symbol so let us let me print this all the alphabets so first of all let me print uh, all the characters from a to z then i will go with the ascii values so here, here i am printing alpha alpha okay so every time i want to use tab okay so let me show here uh, one more c source file let me go for here l1 uh, while demo while while demo one more demo so save uh, control s save order control f9 i think i need to close run existing control f9 control f9 registering that so i don't need so let me remove control s control f9 what the issue I made here? Get ch return zero. Is there an issue? Is there a syntactical and tab tab error, guys? That's it. Here I need to use opening closing curly, and that's it. So here is my alpha done. So save it. Control F nine. Done. My program successfully compiled. Now I can able to run. You can see here, guys. So I can able to see a to z characters by using by using while loop so let me increase the font i have to increase the font each time so you can see here a b c d e f up to z how this happens how this happens because internally internally each symbol each symbol treated as ascii code ascii code guys okay fine this is one way this is one way i want to show now here we have shown a to a to z a to z Anyone can tell me how can I go from Z to A? How can I display from Z to A? You can use same fashion. You can use same fashion. So start take this alpha. So here let me use one message printf. Printf. So display from A to Z. So here A to Z. Okay, slash n. Fine. 
and here I want to show same display from Z to A. So you have to go in reverse order. You have to go in reverse order. Z to A. Okay, guys. So slash n. Okay, fine. So Z to A. How can I show? So start your alphabet from Z. And go and reach up to A. Go and reach up to A. Here either use pre increment or post increment. No matter. So this time I am planning to use post increment. Sorry. Actually here Z to A, right? So what should I do here? Do I use here increment or decrement, guys? I need to use decrement. Either use pre decrement or use a post decrement. Okay. Either use pre decrement or post decrement. No matter. So starting position is Z and ending position is A. So this will go from Z to A. Z, Y, X like this up to B and A. So let me show here. Compile and rerun. So control S save compile control F9 then rerun. So you can see here A to Z. A to Z. Uh, yes, it is showing, but Z to A is not showing. Let me check here what the issue I made. So alphabet Z is there. So actually I need to change here relational operator. I have to change here relational operator. Less than or equal to less than or equal to save. Actually I made copy paste. This is the mistake here. So control F9, control F10. So now you can see here A to Z, A, B, C, D up to Z. Let me mark. So this is from A to Z. Okay, fine. And this is from Z to A. I hope you are clear about this. Are you clear guys? Are you clear? Actually doubt might be in your mind that is sir how can you able to increment or decrement those alphabets? Okay. How can you able to increment or decrement those alphabets? The doubt. Let me clear that doubt in next program. So let me have one more program. Uh, I want to print the ASCII values. I want to print the ASCII values. Based on that ASCII values you will come to know. So let me close and uh, let me have this backup for your reference sake. So I will use this backup. So control C. So you can have this backup. So I will use sample snippets. Now let me write one more program. Write a C program. Write a C program. Uh, write a C program. Write a C program to display to display ASCII values. ASCII values and corresponding corresponding numbers so guys internally all the symbols are res are corresponds to specific numbers and the specific numbers will be converted into binary digits to understand by the computer because computer don't understand the symbols right symbols are understandable by the users computer understands only binary so how those binary gets converted binary will be returned from decimal to numbers decimal to binaries into the forms of one and zero so let us see a program let us see a program that program shows to you 